Hello everybody, join me on my ride through Palace to Palace 2023 Sportif. I'm Stas, and today I'm riding from Buckingham Palace to Windsor Castle to raise funds for the Princess Trust. I'm doing the classic 45 miles route on my P-Line Brompton, which is a great ride for beginner to intermediate cyclists. I've also seen many people on Bromptons on the day, and Brompton is even a mechanic partner for the event. In addition to classic route, there is also an alternative ultra route for a 90 miles distance. The ultra route is much more challenging, not only because it is twice as long, but it has three major hills to conquer in the Danby's hillside area of Surrey County. It took me slightly less than 5 hours to complete the classic ride on my Brompton, with three pit stops along the way. I am also really happy that I started in the first batch of riders, as early as quarter to 7 am in the morning, which was actually quite helpful to avoid most of the traffic and complete the ride by lunchtime. Another nice thing about the event, you get a great cycling jersey a few weeks before the ride, so you can actually cycle through the sportive in it and keep it as a nice memento of the ride. Now enjoy the beautiful Berkshire countryside views and see you at the finish line! I just completed my Palace to Palace uh, classic ride uh, a few minutes ago. Uh, the route is really, really nice and uh, I also enjoyed the Sportive uh, a lot. If you're thinking about starting uh, doing these kind of events, I would probably suggest starting from Palace to Palace because the route is um, challenging enough, but it's not too complex or not too hilly, uh, especially if you are thinking about doing it on uh, Brompton. The funny thing that I was actually interviewed by a journalist uh, who was filming uh, some kind of uh, like video for uh, Brompton because I did it on my P line Brompton. Uh, so yeah, the event is really, really nice. The route is great. It's quite beautiful. Uh, it was well organized. So with sign posts, uh, water posts, and all sorts of uh, kind of things uh, that helpful throughout the route, uh, well placed and organized. And also near the finish line, there is this kind of little city um, created with lots of uh, cool things like live music, uh, massages, water, uh, catering and uh, other things uh, that are super helpful after the long ride. Uh, so that's pretty much it for today. More to come. Hopefully see you at Tour de Cambridgeshire and Fright London 100 miles later this year. And see you next time.